Hi again. So this video is if you are completely new to the Kuhn shoulder rest. It's a very popular type model of shoulder rest. And I just want to explain how to assemble it and how to put it on your violin and hopefully provide some helpful tips for you. And if, it, if your Kuhn shoulder rest already came assembled and you want to skip ahead to just how to put it on your violin, just skip ahead to this, um, this number marking in the video. So the Kuhn shoulder rest I'm going to be assembling is for the sizes 1 8 to 1 4th violin. But you know what, honestly, you can apply this to any size Kuhn shoulder rest. It really doesn't matter. So um, one thing we're going to do is this part might already be assembled on yours. I don't know, but we're just going to go ahead and assemble it anyway, like as if it's not. We're going to stick try picking one of these holes. You might have to guess if it's on, if your violin's on the bigger size of the range or smaller size of the range, which hole to stick it through, um, just like so. See how I do that? And you might have to, you know, adjust the hole you put it through if you find it's too tight or too loose for your violin. So there might be some experimentation there. And then you're going to take this little cap part and just screw it on like so, like that, okay? And now, a lot of other coons, I think because this one's so small, it doesn't have another side to do it to, but a lot of other coons will have the same thing on the other side, so you'll just have to repeat that side for this side, but this one doesn't seem to have that. So it just kind of depends on what size of coon shoulder rest you got. And you'll notice something, these are like the little feet of it, one has a long end and one has a short end, okay? And the short end is gonna go on the part that's kind of by your shoulder. So you'll see here we have a fatter end of the rest and a skinnier end. And the fatter end is by the um, part where it kind of has that dip. So you're gonna put the short, the short foot part in the fatter end side and you just kind of screw it in like that. And you just go twist, 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 okay? And you can decide, it's personal preference, how much you want to screw it in or leave it screwed out. And that gives you an added height adjustment to what you need. And then the longer end goes on the skinnier side right there and then you just screw it in. It is super simple. Once you do it once, I think it's like riding a bike and you just don't really forget how to do it again. Um, and some just helpful tips with this. Um, if you have like a little piece that breaks on this, like say, you know, like a foot breaks or something, you don't have to rebuy the whole shoulder rest. Oftentimes you can just buy the parts. And there's also one part, this little cap right here that you screw on. Um, I, one time I was having like all these students lose this like little cap thing and then I actually just went and found the correct size bolt from Lowe's and I bought like a bunch of them and that worked perfect. Um, so that is a simple tip. Okay, so now let's go to how to put this onto your violin. I'm gonna demonstrate this since this is a small shoulder rest that I'm using right now. I'm gonna demonstrate this on my 110th size violin. So if you're wondering why it looks really small, that's why. The one thing I don't want you to do, I do not want you to set this on the floor on top of the bridge and then try to put this shoulder rest on. That I see that all the time. Please don't do that because that puts so much pressure on the bridge and that could be, bad things could happen. So just do not do that, it's not very safe. I'll show you the proper way to do it. So when you're putting the shoulder rest on, I want you to notice two things. Notice how there's a dip on one side and a little bump up on one side. You wanna put the dip where the chin rest is, on the chin rest side, because when you flip it over, you want it to line up with the curve of your shoulder. It's gonna feel really weird if the bump is happening on your shoulder, so you want the dip down. It should line up like, woo, with your shoulder. So see how we have those little um, grooves right there? And the grooves right here. 
you want to line those up with the little grooves on the back of your violin right here. See those little grooves right there? So you're going to line up here and you're going to line up here and slide it on. So I'll show you how that works. So this is a little bit trickier way to do it, but you can put the, the violin under your shoulder like this. And um, so nothing's applied to the bridge or anything. Um, and you know, align, see if I can get that showing. We're aligning that groove. And then we're taking this side and aligning that groove. And do you see how I am pulling it? Just like that. And see how the dip is right by the chin rest. So then when I flip it, that, that dip will line up right with my shoulder. Okay, so here's the easiest way to put it on because sometimes it might be tricky, especially for younger students, to hold it under your armpit and do it like I was just doing. So the easiest way to put it on, honestly, is you find your knees, you sit down, find your knees, and then the top shoulder part, you want to put, hold it with your knees like that, okay? So see how the back is facing out towards you guys? That's what you want, with the back facing out, and you want the bridge in towards you, okay? Notice I'm not applying any pressure to the bridge, okay? And then we just do the same thing. We just, now you have both hands perfectly free to line up those grooves and you just push it down, okay? And remember to line the dip up with the chin rest. And that's how you do it. Um, some other tips is sometimes with some of these uh, coon shoulder rests, this one isn't collapsible. Sometimes the legs are collapsible and it makes it a little easier to fit in your violin case. And, um, and sometimes you just can't fit it in your violin case. And don't worry, that's really not the end of the world. I do not carry my shoulder rest in my violin case ever. I have a humongous shoulder rest, so that would just not work. Um, what I do is I carry my shoulder rest in my music bag because I have to haul around so much music all the time. I'm always carrying around a music bag. So it just goes in with my music bag. I've also seen people take like a little type of like, um, like a little baggie, maybe their mom sews, and they just kind of have it like hook onto their, like a little, the little baggie they make. They have the little baggie hook onto like maybe the handle of their case. So then they just put it in the little baggie outside of their case. That's an idea, but um, I don't know. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I will do my best to answer them and happy practicing. Bye-bye.